this is in no order, so uh, let's begin with this amazing film about gangsters. It's called New World. Pick a side with um, famous Korean actors Lee Jong Jae, Choi Min Sik, Hwang Jong Min, and Park um, Park Won Jong. Excuse me. A superb gangster thriller. I'm pretty sure this is made in Korea, um, but this is one of one of a uh, one of the best Korean um, films to watch. Really good too. Um, so yeah, recommend it. Next one, you pretty much know about this one. I guess everybody knows this one. Three Hundred about um, the Spartans versus versus the uh, Persian Empire. As a film, I, I remember when this came out. I was in middle school, and um, I couldn't watch this movie. Uh, I really, really um, found it really stunning how every detail of the film, um, yeah, it was just amazing. Um, Which was 
was a, uh, for me, was the best zombie film. But this is the second to the best uh, zombie film, and it's more about, uh, it focuses on, um, on not just uh, the main characters, but like what's surrounding everything, and um, zombies bringing destruction, and uh, yeah, it's really, really good uh, horror film, if you're into the uh, zombie, zombie genre. Uh, if you look at that, look at blue and orange, kind of like Portal, you know, if you played Portal, the video game, yeah, yeah, you know what I'm talking about. Really good. Next one is... Old boy, I adore this Korean film. I I prefer Old Boy than New World, but Old Boy is a masterpiece. Um, Tartation, uh, Tartation. I mean Tart, Tartan Asia Extreme. <laughs> My bad. Um, yeah, yeah. Fucking watch it. It's really fucking good. Um, especially the style and the uh, the script writing for this amazing. Fifteen years up. Imprisonment, Five Days of Vengeance, really good, best Korean film ever, uh, I, think it, I think it deserves five stars, no, maybe ten, five isn't enough, but yeah, uh, such a well-made film, and uh, I recommend it to everyone who's into the uh, action slash drama um, style, well not style, but genre, really good. I, I watch this film every year, and um, it, it it's really good, especially the torture scenes. They're the best. Now, I bought this from Blockbuster in Mexico, which is on Earth, but in Spanish it's called La Tierra. And it's really relaxing because it talks about planet Earth and stuff, and um, animals, and I love animals. Animals are the, are, are the shit, you know? You can't go wrong with penguins and... And, um, and, uh, yeah, like, penguins. Um, yeah, camera's having trouble again, God damn it. Penguins and, uh, yeah, different things. Uh, really, really good film, just to, like, you know, spend time. Uh, yeah, it's really good. Um, uh, I think this one's called Chernobyl Diaries. And in Spanish, it's called Terror in Chernobyl. And, um, it's, it's an okay, it's an okay horror film, it's not that bad. Except the, 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 the um, the ending was sort of disappointing. I was expecting more, but it's a really good, uh, found footage film. Amazing, uh, not that, it, it's okay. It's okay. Oh, this one's really good. Um, uh, John Wick, Otro Dia Para Matar. Keanu Reeves, you, uh, a lot of people know Keanu Reeves from The Matrix, I, I loved him in Matrix, Matrix was, was a fucking masterpiece, man, but uh, basically this shows how good is he as a hitman, I mean, he just fucking like destroys the hell out of like guards and stuff, he's such a kick-ass character, man, I mean, who, who wouldn't want to be John Wick, yeah, he loves dogs, dogs are awesome, dogs kick-ass, there, there, there he is, you know. John Wick. Man, this is such a really good film. <laughs> yeah, John Wick. Really good. Waiting for a second part. Number two. Just waiting for the second part. It's gonna be really good. So there it is, John Wick. Otro dia para matar. This one, this was, I, I, was ex I wasn't expecting it to be really good, and... It changed my opinion on Denzel Washington's films. This has to be his best film. It's called uh, The Equalizer, and in Spanish it's El Justiciero. And uh, it's his character is so like badass. He makes Duke Nukem look like a pussy. I swear to God, he he's, he's such a good hitman. He uh, he takes his um his enemies in a non-confrontational manner, and um, he, he just like. Basically, takes his own strategy and killing him, killing them and stuff. Really good film. Uh, I think it's worth. Uh, I forgot this girl, uh, Chloe Chloe Grace Moretz, who is. Uh, she comes out and I think kick ass. Yeah, but she plays a, as a as a hooker, 
and um, Denzel Washington over here. Um, it was bad for her because she's, she's getting like hit by all these uh, Russians. She works with this uh, Russian thing called the Russian Knights, and the Russians, um, they basically um, like like they they fuck up with all the uh, the hookers and stuff. So this guy ends up getting revenge, and it just Denzel Washington is such a good actor in this film. So fucking great. So yeah, uh, the Equalizer. Oh my god. I went to see this uh, my first year of college with a friend. And uh, Jake Gyllenhaal just acts so fucking weird. Like, he, he's like that, um, like, weird, weird, really weird person. I, I really didn't like his acting. But this film is worth the watch. It's called Nightcrawler. In Spanish, it's called Primicia Mortal. And uh, Jake Gyllenhaal plays as this, like, sort of, um, whimsical guy who just goes for anything like uh let's say you want him like to work at a at a meat at a slaughterhouse he'll do it for money so um he finds a career and uh he's really interested about like you know uh night crawlers and stuff people who record um accidents and he gets into this thing and he hires a, a homeless uh dude and like he basically works um homeless dude um in this like internship so he works with the guy and uh with jake gyllenhaal um the, actually you know what his name's lois bloom fuck it yeah there you go lois bloom and he works with lois bloom and they do all these like uh these um things so they can level up as in like uh they can become best uh better like news reporters and stuff it's a really good film i i highly recommend it um, it wasn't uh, critically acclaimed or didn't win any awards, but it's it's good, man. It's, there you go, you know. Nightcrawler. It's kind of like X Men, you know. Nightcrawler. Good, 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 good. All right, next we have Jackass Three Unrated. Oh, there you go. There's you see him, Johnny Knoxville. Look at this. Look at this. That is. That is fucking awesome. Don't, don't, you, like, don't you like to see that one? Oh, come on, focus. <laughs> yeah. Oh, look, like, there you go. There, you see that? Look at that. Look at that finishing. Oh my god, that looks so good. Um, you get 3D glasses, which is cool. But you know what sucks? I bought it at this uh, thrift shop. Uh, 
props and stuff, but people thought it was awesome to overlay it with a CGI, which made, made it worse. So, yeah. Oh my god. Whoa, this is the mother. The, the um, the, like, the mother of all this collection. See that? See that? This is the mother. This is the mother right here. Alien vs. Predator double feature. And what I like about this, that it has Alien vs. Predator 1 and Alien vs. Predator Requiem, which is the sequel to, um, to, um, Alien vs. Predator. And they're both an unrated, that is such a kick-ass deal. You can't go wrong with nine bucks. I mean, god damn it. I mean, fucking aliens, man. Look at that. Look at that, man. That detail, though. Anyways, um, Predator is my favorite character for, uh, actually my second favorite character from the horror franchise, and, um, J Jason Voorhees is my first one, so let's get back to this Alien, um, one of my favorite, um, Ridley Scott films, yes, um, I'd say James Cameron, because, James Cameron, because I really didn't like that much Aliens, although I have it on VHS, I, uh, love the first Alien, who, uh, Ridley Scott made, so, let's open this right up. Some more. 